back again, folks. I hope this is the last one. Most likely born you to tears if there's anybody out there. Well, there may, might even be somebody out there now. Thank you, folks. Where was I? Uh, yeah, the behavior thing. In other words, you know, some folks, I'm not sure exactly what they base it on, call uh, alcoholism, or if you want to use that term, uh, and all these other addictions and things, you know, a disease versus behavior. Um, even when, when, when you deal with mentally ill people, in other words, let's say uh, that someone is schizophrenic. Uh, oftentimes, a, a person who's schizophrenic, they uh, hear voices, they see visions and things like that. They have delusions. They might think people are after them. Uh, they might think that they're a god or, you know, work for the FBI or the FBI's after them, the mafia's after them, or they work for the mafia, and, and on and on and on. And, and you know, that, that was some of the symptoms that, that a schizophrenic person can have. Now, when a schizophrenic person uh, is, is on medication, and, and let's say they're a person who all of these things can be controlled by medication. Now, a lot of seriously mentally ill people, it, that's not the case. Uh, it's either the case that maybe they haven't found the right combination or whatever, but a lot of these poor mentally ill people are out on the streets and know all of their symptoms are not brought under control. But the point I'm trying to make is even though if someone is diagnosed as schizophrenic, if their symptoms are under control, the hearing voices and so on and so forth, and they do something, then then society, if you will, will look at that as behavior. In other words, this isn't a result of this schizophrenia. It's a result of behavior. Uh, I don't know if I'm making any sense or not, but where was I? Uh, talking about this addiction stuff. I think another thing is 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 when we uh, and some of these newspaper articles uh, have also mentioned is this a cop out? In other words, a guy runs around on his wife, and then all of a sudden, I have a sex addiction and hops into the old rehab place. And uh, I think I mentioned that uh, I did I did a couple of segments on rehab, and uh, I think I also mentioned that because now all of a sudden, it's oh. Poor Johnny, he has a sex addiction. He can't help himself. Yeah, sure. Uh, and, and it's the same in when we, um, I, and I've spoken about this before in some of the other segments about labeling someone. Uh, and, and, and what happens when you label someone. Excuse me. I'm getting off the subject, and I'm going to shut down in just a second or two, honest, if there's anybody out there. But, I, and I'm going to go back to uh, people who we call alcoholics. First off, uh, I don't like calling people alcoholics. It, it, uh, I don't like that. If drinking is causing someone a problem, I think we should say they're a problem drinker. You know? Uh, I, I don't like that term alcoholic very much. Uh, what was I working up to? Oh, yeah. Uh, if, if, if we say a person has a disease, uh, for instance, if, if someone has cancer, we aren't going to say, you caused that, man. Uh, no, I mean, you know, we aren't going to say that. Now, of course, if I have lung cancer or something, yeah, I do smoke, you might say that, but it wouldn't be very nice, and you better not if I ever get lung cancer. But I think the point I'm trying to make is it's, it's, it, when we call it a disease, it, it's almost like it's out of this person's control. They have no control over it. Uh, you don't have control, I mean, with some exceptions. I mean, if you're, if you're type 2 diabetic or something, you know, maybe your lousy diet or something like that causes it. But more or less, if you have a disease, uh, you know, you have a disease, period. Now, when you, when, you, when you talk about someone who drinks too much as having a disease, it's, it's almost like you're giving them an out. And, and also, I think I had talked in, in one of the other segments about labeling people. Not that I know anything about any of this, but for instance, you have Uncle Harry. You say, and Uncle Harry's a boozer, okay? And you say, Uncle Harry uh, 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 has a disease. He, he, uh, the disease is alcoholism. Okay. So the next night, Uncle Harry beats up 
old uh, uh, Aunt Ruth, and what are we going to say? Oh, poor Uncle Harry, he has a disease. I mean, you know, he doesn't have any control over this. So I think labeling people uh, as having a disease, I, 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 I think, number one, is not accurate. And, and I don't see any benefit from doing it. And I don't see how it helps the person. If Uncle Harry's drinking too much, Uncle Harry's drinking too much. The so-called disease can stop when he stops drinking, you know? And that's not like, like some poor person with cancer. They just can't get rid of the disease. Um, so, anyway, now I've gone on for most likely close to 30 minutes on this, and I'm sure I sound like a mor the moron that I am. And I don't even know if I was trying to make any points. I guess the points I was trying to make is, number one, I think this 12-step program bites the giant one. And, and number two, the so-called addictions, uh, are, in my opinion, are not diseases. That's an insult to people who have cancer and heart disease and everything else. And I think people need to be held accountable for what they do. Uh, now, I'm not saying that having a drinking problem it, 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 it is something you know that's funny or or, or or something that's easy to stop or anything else or having even let's let's give them their due and let's say there is some kind of sex deal you know where a guy screws 24 hours a day or something and that wouldn't be very good and that would be kind of sad but I don't see where the disease part comes in you know the guy's making a lot of poor choices now true he may be driven by this but uh, I think it's behavior. Well, I don't see where there's a disease. I'm sure there's lots of people out there who will disagree with me. I'm sure there's lots of people out there who've had relatives, as I said earlier, who have gone to uh, AA, turned their lives around. And if they have, that's good. I'm, I'm not saying that's bad. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's it. <laughs> wow, I was sort of wound up there. I'm sort of like in a manic phase tonight. Anyway. Uh, folks, as Pat Condell would say, peace. Peace, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, if you think you're a sex addict <laughs> or, or an alcoholic or whatever, in all seriousness, try something other than the 12-step program. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to AA, but try something else. Or, or go to AA, and, but don't buy into all that God baloney. You know, it ain't going to work. As, as I say, and I'm sure this is simplistic, you know, if God can take it away from you, why the hell did he let you get it in the first place? Anyway, good night, folks. And if any of you are still there listening, thanks so much. I appreciate it. It's Pat Condell would say, peace, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.